Hello everyone and welcome to Uchiha Gaming. In this video we are going to check the compatibility of different PUBG Mobile grips, their salient features and limitations and ultimately, which guns they are best suited for. So let's begin. Bragging the top spot is half grip. The most versatile grip among the ones available is half grip. Let us take a look about the advantages and limitations it comes with. Half grip reduces recoil and most importantly improves recoil recovery. It allows player to get better aimed shots at the enemy, while also getting in a greater number of shots. It does a better job at controlling the vertical recoil than with horizontal recoil. One major shortcoming is that the weapon steadiness is reduced while using this attachment. Hence, it would be better to use this grip with generally steady weapons, such as UMP9, August A3, and Vector. Second spot is secured by thumb grip. Many players vouch for vertical grip to be better than thumb grip. However, thumb grip secures this position for its versatility. The winning functionality though is that it reduces time taken to open a scope. Moreover, it aids weapon stability, with improved ADS, good recoil recovery, and higher weapon steadiness. The limitations thumb grip comes with is increased horizontal recoil, and increased sway by 10%. Thumb grip is a suitable attachment for scoped weapons, such as SCAR-L, M416, August A3, a favorite among many, vertical grip has claimed the third position. The vertical grip is an appropriate choice for weapons with a strong vertical kick. Vertical grip also reduces recoil pattern by 20%. There is no denying that it also offers good weapon stability. However, the horizontal recoil isn't predictable as it goes both ways. This makes vertical grip slightly less useful. It is generically useful for just about anything, any weapon. In fact it is the only attachment compatible with Tommy Gun. It can also be used with Barrel M762 as it has a larger vertical recoil. The fourth on the list is Angled Grip. The Angled Grip makes a significant difference to the horizontal recoil when in steady state. Another plus for this grip is that it offers better ADS speed. And also decreases recoil pattern by 20%. Now, where this grip loses out to its counterparts is when it comes to weapon steadiness. Moreover the grip doesn't provide reduction of vertical recoil, thus making it less useful. The grip is useful with SMGs and ARs, such as UMP9, SCAR-L, and M416. Another grip with heavy pros and cons is the light grip. When it comes to taking single shots, unarguably light grip is the best. It has the best weapon stability. Light grip also decreases recoil pattern, and kick up to certain percentage. Though, it makes weapon steadier, there is a reason why this is in the last position. And that would be because the grip isn't versatile. The grip increases horizontal and vertical recoil exponentially. It also decreases recoil recovery, and ADS by 5%. It is best suitable for DMRs like SKS, and to be honest may be the only gun worth equipping the light grip on. The conclusion I draw from the data are, when in doubt, use horizontal or vertical grip. When using SKS, use a light grip. When you intend to spray, use a half grip. When you intend to single tap, use a thumb grip. If you can't, carry multiple and hot swap. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I was helpful demystifying the PUBG grips at least a little. Please like and share the video. Help them learn a bit more about the game. Thanks for the watch. See you again in our next venture.